a flying trip into Canberra. Welcome everyone. For a final 2021 catch up with the states and territories. You can tell who's got an election coming up on who's got cameras in the room, can't you? And some more national cabinet sparring. Andrew, I didn't think you bothered with elections anymore. <laughs> At a hastily convened meeting, leaders sank their teeth into the growing challenge posed by the Omicron variant. We need to reset how we think about the pandemic and how we manage ourselves and, and the things we need to do as governments. Omicron is a game changer. With a game changer comes changing rules and definitions. A close contact will now be someone who has spent four hours or more with a confirmed case in a household or similar setting. They'll have to isolate for seven days from their exposure date and take a rapid antigen test on day six if they have no symptoms. The changes come into effect for much of the country from midnight. South Australian close contacts will still need to isolate for 10 days. Tasmania's changes won't happen until New Year's Day. The Northern Territory sometime in the new year and Western Australia will stick with its current requirements. Well, of course it's going to increase spread uh, because obviously my actions are going to be determined by what my definition is. In this current environment of very large uh, numbers of cases, we have to go to where the risk is greatest. Quarantine periods will also be shortened for confirmed COVID cases, meaning people who test positive will only need to isolate for seven days if they have a negative result on day six. The overloaded PCR testing system will now be reserved only for people displaying COVID symptoms. That's the gear change. That's the reset. The Prime Minister says he's changing gears, but the truth is he stalled the recovery. The so-called gear change coincides with another record high number of COVID cases, with more than 21,000 detected across Australia today. Health authorities openly admit these new relaxed measures will drive those figures even higher. But heading into the new year, the Prime Minister is urging the country to stay positive. While Australia has had a tough year, there's still a lot to celebrate by the simple fact that we're Australians and we live in Australia. Thank An election much, year will be just as gruelling. Claudia Long, ABC News, Canberra.